everyone, this is Amanda Atika. So during this video, I'm going to show you uh, how the HTTP server is contacted. So this is my end system, and this is my HTTP server, and this is my local DNS server. So what I actually need to do is I need to get a web page from this server, and this server is uh, something like www.example.com. So I need to get the solution for that. So I go to the user. I specify it in the web browser. The user opens it in the web browser. So in the web browser, I say www.example.com. So when I say this, I'm going to say it in my simulation mode. And yeah, here when the user says go, so the user is requesting. So primarily the user doesn't know anyone other than this DNS. So it con and DNS is contacted with every other person. So uh, first the user is getting in contact with the system, like the DNS, the local DNS, and the DNS uh, gets the address of the other thing. So it first need to contact the DNS asking for the IP address. So this is the packet which is getting traveled. So it is a DNS packet which is getting stimulated, which is created over there. So I'm going to capture and power that the DNS packet is moving. ARP is a cache, so we'll ignore that. We'll only take counter of this DNS packet. So, so our DNS packet reached the server. No, it is the ARP packet. So ARP, ARP is going on. So after that, we need DNS. Yeah, now we have the DNS. So DNS came, it got the address. So when I open this packet over here, I can see in the DNS header. Okay, it already got the answer. Fine. So here in the inbound, it is actually asking for DNS to give the address. So it is asking the user is asking the user. Sorry, the DNS that I have a website called www.example.com. Can you please provide the IP address of that uh, particular website so that I can contact that? So this is the inbound PDU. That means the system is giving to the server, DNS server. And the outbound, that is the outlet from this is going like this way. So it is asked for name. So the DNS answer would be the address. As you can see in the inbound, we don't have address and the length is zero. And here we can see that the length is four and uh, we have the address also. So once the DNS is, uh, message is there, now the DNS message that is the address of this particular server will be given to our system. So we got the DNS message. So once the DNS message is got, you have your TCP. So once uh, the DNS message is done, see it is the right message. It is uh, reached the right destination, but you can see there's nothing on the web page yet. So that this end system got uh, the server's IP address, but uh, it didn't get the web page actually. So to establish a connection, we need a TCP connection to be established between both of them. So first the TCP connection gets established. So this blue packet over here is a TCP connection, as you can see, it is at PC0, that is my first uh, computer. So I captured and powered, it's going through the router, it follows the path. So you can see all of them are TCP and uh, ARP can be excluded because I'm not talking about ARP, I'm talking about DNS, TCP and HTTP. So yeah, TCP connection is now again going. Yeah, now it has reached. So it is telling the server that I need to make a connection with you. The server says yes. So this message is brought back to my computer. So once that is brought back, uh, the, the two transactions which have been there, they were without any payload. Now the TCP connection, along with the TCP connection, we have a payload, which is the HTTP file, which is the layer 7 thing. So now this purple color packet travels over here. And now when you open the system and you still find your browser to be empty, or now I need to capture and forward. So along with the TCP connection, the HTTP is moving forward as you can notice because they're establishing a TCP connection. The TCP follows the path first and the HTTP is followed behind that. So they keep moving. So the TCP connection is reached to the server. It saves as a packet behind me, there's a payload. And now the HTTP is also over there. So the server reads the HTTP message and the response is again packed in this uh, inbound. So this is the request and this is HTTP data. This is giving the data out. 
so when i capture and forward it's coming back to the system so it's only http now because tcp has already given the connection tcp is not coming between them so as now i can again show you this browser is still empty so when i say capture and forward the http message is received over here so you can see now the page appears so that's a good thing and now so only the front page has appeared so when i need a small page it doesn't show me anything so for that small page i need to run the link again so i'm going to say auto capture and forward for a long run purpose and i'm going to speed this up so see this is loaded matlab it got its request back so that is how it works so i'll also tell you what has been done actually in the real, uh, real time mode so this is my server this is my dns server and this is my http server or like whatever server which is giving me address so i go to the system and in the ip configuration the dns server's address is given the default gateway is to the which router it's going this is, these three things are common the ip address the subnet mask and the default gateway the dns server address will be given over here so the system will now know whom to ask the address the ip address of so when i go to the dns server and i see in services so here when i go for config i can find the gateway is this thing so according to that i gave the dns uh, server's ip address over here so this is my dns server's ip address and that is what is given over here so the same thing now when i fed actually www.example.com and that that was fed in this way so i went to services i went to dns and i need to add some record so as you can see there is a record which has been added with this particular uh, ip address so i can add another ip address like uh, example 2 and i can give it an ip address of 9 no i'll give it an ip address of 88 so this is how i create a record and that would be done so that is how i contact the server and get it back thanks for watching dns